When we're developing a new version of Photoshop, we do a lot of research, and our research has shown us that the Crop Tool is the single most used tool in all of Photoshop. There have been a lot of changes to the Crop Tool over the last couple of versions, so I'd like to show you some tips and tricks, but also show you some things you might not know about that are really handy when you're cropping an image. So let's take a look. Okay, so here's an image that's got some problems. Let's go ahead and select the Crop Tool, and the first thing you'll notice is we select the entire image automatically. Now, just a couple of things to talk about. If we were to come in here and we wanted to change our ratio, we've got a lot of different presets for doing that. We can define our own presets as well. In this case, I'm going to hit front image so I get not only the dimensions but the resolution as well. And we'll maintain that as we crop. But as you can see here, there's a bigger problem, and that's that the image is off axis. So I'm going to take the straighten tool and just draw a line where it should be straight. And Photoshop's going to automatically rotate that and give me the image looking the way it should. Now here I should talk about the difference between this checkbox being off and on. If this is deselected and I commit my crop, when I come back to the crop tool, I'll notice that my full image is still available to me. We've prompted a layer-based workflow so that you can edit your crop after the fact. We saw a lot of people going back and starting all over again so we promoted a feature that allows you to crop as you like, undo it as you go along. But in this particular case, what I want to do is make this a vertical image. And so being fixed to this orientation isn't going to work. All I need to do is hit clear, and now I can make the image look the way I want it to. So let's pull it in like that, pull up some of the foreground, and then zoom back a little. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to extend beyond the image. A lot of people don't think of the crop tool as adding content, but it can be used for that. So I've got things looking the way I want. I'm going to hit delete because we're going to end up flattening this. Let's crop and just flatten that layer. And the last thing I want to do here is select that area up top. And I want to fill that. I'm going to come up here to modify, expand that. And if I hit the delete key and use content aware, I can just fill in that area. So I've done a great job of completely changing my image, straightening it, and even adding content. So the crop tool isn't just for taking away information, it can be for adding it as well.